welcome to the Bowels of Union Station. We just came from the DC Streetcar, which I hope was my last video, if it's not spoilers. And uh, today, we're going out on the VRE Manassas line to ride Virginia's extremely weird commuter rail. So, uh, let's go get tickets, and I'll see you getting on the As we get our tickets, here's some history about the VRE Manassas line. The tracks we'll be riding on today were, were originally built by the Orange and Alexandria Railroad in the 1850s. Construction was completed in 1854, with trains running from Alexandria to a junction with the Virginia Central Railroad in Orange County. The newly built railroad opened up then very rural areas of southern and western Virginia to the bustling city of Washington, D.C. During the Civil War, it was strategically important as part of the only rail link between D.C. and Richmond, and came under the control of both sides multiple times. The Civil War's damage had made a huge impact on the railroad, and it was nearly completely destroyed by 1865. Throughout the second half of the 19th century, it underwent multiple corporate mergers and fell under the control of the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad. However, by 1894, the Southern Railway, which was a growing rail giant in the, in the South, bought the line, using it as part of their main line. Eventually, through even more mergers and consolidations, it became known as the Washington District. When the Southern Railway merged with the Norfolk and Western Railway in 1982, the line became a part of the then-new Norfolk Southern Railway. However, no commuter trains ran on the line. In fact, throughout its history thus far, the line had only played host to intercity and freight trains, never commuter rail. However, by the 1980s, the growth of Northern Virginia and, and congestion on highways in the area made it clear that a commuter rail system was need needed. Based off the success of the Washington Metro, which was and still is somewhat commuter rail-esque, the Northern Virginia Transportation Commission, or NVTC, began planning a commuter rail system. By 1990, the NVTC had proposed the final VRE system, and in 1992, service started. Two lines radiated southwest from Washington, D.C.'s Union Station, with one running directly south to Fredericksburg and one running west to Manassas and Broad Run. So with that history out of the way, let's go ride VRE and see why it is just so weird. Alrighty, uh, this is the ticket. We're heading down and there's a, there's a sleeper train. There's a P-42. And what? What? Oh, that's really cool. This is the Capital Limited on track 23, and our train is on track 24. Uh, the tickets look cool. Um, I hope this isn't like exposing my day. Here comes the train pulling into um, Union Station and absolutely cooking the wires because VRE is entirely diesel, um, which is stupid. Um, and but they should put wires in. There are um, very many gallery cars. They're like a lot. Um, so yeah, here comes the train. And um, we may go in the back gallery car because there is a foam or window there, but there are lots and lots of gallery cars. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I, I, I think it's eight cars if I counted it right. So that is very cool, very pog, very fun. All right, let's get on board. Hello, we're on board VRU. We, we, we were up there, but then we moved back here. We were going to go to the very back car to film out the back window, but it was closed. So now we're here and they're cup holders, which is nice. I bought this at Union. Uh, and now we're seeing the beautiful sights of the first first few tunnel. We go directly under a bunch of uh, government build buildings. So next station, L'Enfant. Alrighty, so this is the Long Bridge. That's a plane leaving uh, D D DCA. Uh, right in front of us is the Yellow Line Bridge, and then behind it are the, are the two highway bridges. Um, so that straight ahead is Rosslyn and its buildings. That's a Yellow Line train. That's pretty cool. And then the Washington Monument is behind that. Uh, that's a it's really cool. Um, and yeah, so now. Uh, are crossing the Long Bridge, and then this is like a bridge bit of the Long Bridge, and uh, we're now on the Virginia side. So uh, I'm gonna cross over back to that side, and I'll see you probably near or at Alexander. Alrighty, so that's the blue line, right? Yes, that's that's the blue line, and we are now on a very wide section of the track, and that's because we are currently splitting off onto the Norfolk Southern owned. Uh, I don't know. From the CSX owned. Our F and P subdivision. Okay. And um There's also a small yeah. yard here for Norfolk Southern where they entertain And there's a not so small yard for 
from Metro. Where those are some three thousand series trains. This is Backlick Road. Uh, we are we are wrong railing now at Backlick Road. Thank you. There are, there is a connection here to, to a Fairfax connector route. Um, that's twenty one three twenty two four zero one four zero. Yeah. Which have different numbers for their northbound and southbound segments. Of that which I just don't, don't get. Do you know why? Uh, no. Cool. We we love Fairfax County. And the how? Backlick Road. That was like a bum, but that was a cord. That was a that was fun. Anyhow, I'll see you at a cool viaduct coming up soon. Uh, okay, I completely forgot, forgot to film that viaduct. Here's a picture of it. It was built uh, with the Orange and Alexandria Railroad in the 1850s. It's cool. It's between uh, Backlick Road and Rolling Road stations. Uh, and here is Burke Center. Burke Center. Uh, Amtrak stops here sometimes because uh, it, it, it wants to, I guess. Um, and now we run nonstop for a bit to Manassas Park. Um, and But in between there, there is a station that he thinks is the least used. It's definitely the least served. It's Clifton. And it's open for a few days in the summer only when they run special events trains for like railroad days or whatever it's called. Yeah, uh, but they do so, have an original station building, I think, so I, I might pop over to that side. And another right before there is the Colchester Overpass, which is on Google Maps and it looks cool, but um, only if you're like driving on and we're on a train. So better than those cars. Those stupid cars. So yeah, uh, I'll see you uh, either at there or at Clifton. Uh, we shall see. But yeah, current VRE status vibing. Um, this is the little tiny road, which is the, Col the Colchester O free pass. I'm sure it looks cool if you're driving, but uh, to us it just looks like any other road. And now I'm, I'm going to switch to the other, the other side to see Clifton. Trainception, and also we are now uh, coming through Clifton. So this is where the special events platform is, which I think I actually see, maybe. And there's also an original station building. Um, which, as a history nerd, I like. So this is the town of Clifton. Uh, that's a little stub siding. Uh, and this is... Oh, that's a bunch of ties. And that is a little caboose. That, that's cute. And there's someone filming the train. And that is... Okay. There probably was uh, the station building and the platform somewhere in there. If, if there was, I'll like put a screen us. Anyhow. Uh, see you further down the line, probably at Manassas Park. Okay. A high speed train. Really, I highly doubt that. Apparently, we have to cross the tracks here at Manassas. It says there will be high speed trains oh, no. approaching. Yeah, I, um, I, I, now, I guess it's like if you want to get back over to the other side. I do highly doubt that there will be high speed trains approaching, considering this is a freight line, top speed is 79. But yeah, we are uh, in the in the lid, uh, the center thing. We're at Manassas. Um, there's a cool water tower which you can't really see anywhere. But yeah, Manassas looks like a cute town. Um, so yeah, and this is an ad for homes. So cool. So I'll see it. In the Alrighty, we are hopping off here, in Manassas. That was fun. And oh, that's what they were talking about. Oh, I see. There's like a section where the platform just like ends. Oh, oh wait, the train stopped in the middle of the road? Oh my gosh. So, okay, hold on. There are two different platforms and then this road just runs between them and the train stops in the middle of it. This is hilarious and comedic and great. And I love it. Um, that is just, that's great. That is just a road. Run through, through, and the train stops. Yeah, thank you. All right, cool. Here's here's a summer shot. All righty. Welcome to Manassas. Let's now cut to a station review. Welcome inside the Manassas train station. There is a visitor center and exhibition gallery, which looks interesting in there. Um, that looks very, is this open? This might be open. No, it's not. Okay, um, so uh, this is the Crescent Limited, which is, which is a Southern Railway train. And this is a station. So there are very, very take machines. There's a system map. Um, there is, there are two platforms here and then there's one on that side. Um, and yeah, that's M Manassas Station. There appears to also be a caboose and a boxcar over there. So that's cool. Uh, we'll walk over there now. Um, but first, 
this is uh, their schedule, which is, I don't think it's actually out of date. This is correct, I'm fairly sure. I could be wrong, but I think it is. Um, anyhow, that is, that, that looks cool. So, we're, so I'm gonna head over. Three. So this is actually cool railroad history. You can pause and read that more. Um, these are the old cabooses. Um, there's a southern the rare or thing 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 killer caboose. There's a southern there's a southern railroad caboose and a southern railroad boxcar and then this is situated on a southern railroad flat car. Um the caboose I don't think okay, you can enter neither the boxcar. Someone just walking on the track down there, because that's a great idea. Anyhow, this is Manassas. Let's cut to some exploring. All right, we didn't actually end up exploring Manassas. We just got some food and then got the Omni Ride 60 bus up to Tyson's to get the Silver Line, which will be a, a future video. So over this bus foamer shot for you bus foamers, uh, thank you, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.